I've had a few questions about the construction method for the tail or the updated tail for my three channel trainer. So this is a quick video about how to uh, attach the, and build this sort of tail. So we have the rudder, elevator and horizontal stabiliser and a couple of strips. What we're going to do is glue these two pieces on either side of the arrow shaft. So that forms a nice channel that the, you can glue the rudder into and it sort of gives a stronger uh, join to the rudder as well. That's often a weak point there and it's a good idea to make this part of the rudder as long as you can. That's where all the strength comes from. go that's done and now I'm going to cut the slot out of the elevator so that will slot uh, either side of the rudder and sit on top of those two pieces of foam and I want to leave a little bit of the elevator overhanging at the back just for a bit of uh, strength so I'll say I'll do that about there bit of glue on the bottom be smart and slot it down from the top maybe and I'll use my square just to keep it square And that's basically it. I can add beads of glue for a bit more strength there and there. I'll cover it all with tape. Uh, the servos will slot in just here, like this one. Put in the control horns, do the hinges. And there you have it. An easy, quick and strong crosstail for my three-channel trainer.